Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Ryan Kent FIFA 23 player review. You're probably very familiar with him from other FIFAs. Um, he's rapid pace, so he's 5'8", high medium work rate, he's right footed. And check this out, he's got 4 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot, which is just fantastic. Um, 85 rated left winger from England and plays for Rangers. Part of the squad builder challenge that you get with Tavernier. I'm going to do a review on him, so that will be on the channel by the time that you're watching this as well. Let's get into the in-game stats and then we'll get into some gameplay with him. Um, so he's got 96 pace, which is ridiculous, of course. We was expecting that one. Um, as soon as I saw Kent, he knew he was going to have good pace. 80 shooting, not the best, but uh, 90 shot power is pretty good. Uh, put a card on there to increase the shooting, I would suggest. Um, 80 passing, not the best either, but short pass at 82 is the standout there with 82 vision. 83 dribbling, look at that agility and balance. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's what you want from uh, a winger. So yeah, fantastic there. Um, not good defending. Don't really need that though. Fantastic stamina. Low strength. Shooting and strength need increase. All right. So you're going to join me here at one or nil nil. Sorry, uh, we've got Kent here and uh, making a right nuisance of himself already. Showing good strength there. Would have won a foul if I wanted to play on. He's running through there and he puts the ball in the back of the net. Six minutes in to his debut. Fantastic start for Kent. Um, yeah, very very happy about that. Used his pace. Used his strength, which is surprising because I haven't actually put a card on him. Um, and yeah, just really really solid there. Uh, very happy with how that that started. This guy's got a crazy team though, he's got full of icons, he's got Pele, Volo, all sorts of that, there you go, Volo picks up a goal for him there, um, but yeah, Kent got Tavernier over here, um, as I said, there will be a review on him by the time that you're probably watching this video as well, so uh, be sure to check that one out if you want to see how he gets on, um, you get the, the two of them for completing just Tavernier, and he's gone too well up there, not great, Volo. Right, we need to sort this out a little bit, Kudabale. Right, let's see where we can get Kent. He seems to play quite far back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Hopefully his pace will get him out of that, to be honest. You don't really need him too far forward because his pace is absolutely ridiculous at 96. So he will be able to uh, run forward. It's just his strength that worries me. But for that goal that he scored, he did show good strength in the build-up, uh, which would have caused him to have ended up being fouled if, uh, if I hadn't managed to keep the ball. So really, really solid. Got to be advised, ball out. The ball away in that position. He must As I said, this guy's and team is pretty is good. Um, but uh, hopefully we can carry on with the form that we showed in the start. Nicely done there, Ken. I love playing with players that have got good agility and balance. Look at that. I, th I feel like that's one of the most important stats on FIFA, in my opinion. Agility and balance. That, combined with high strength and good pace, is just a winning formula. Go on, where's Kent? Uh, I, couldn't, I shouldn't have really tried that pass. He was a marked man. Uh, there was no way that that was ever going to find him. Ah, uh, no, Pyatt, that card, man. It does my head. Everyone's got that Pyatt card. That was a poor pass from him. Poor touch from Best, but we still got the ball. And you can see Kent making a run there. He's against Diaz. Oh, God. He, he would have been away there. That is annoying. That's got to be a red card, isn't it? Oh, he's only given a yellow there. I don't quite understand how that's only a yellow card, to be honest. He completely wiped me out. And uh, Kent was away there as well. That was a bit annoying. I think the guy knew that he had no chance of catching him, so he just tried to wipe him out, and somehow he actually got away with it. So, a bit annoying, that. So it's Randolph card in goal. I, mean, I don't know about that Randolph card. I played against him a few times. I guess if you, uh, if you haven't got a better keeper, he's a free one that you can get from just doing the basics but I don't think he's that great with this. Thank goodness we needed to get the ball off of Volo because that Volo is ridiculous. Where is Kent at though? He's, he made some really good runs. To be honest he should have, well it wasn't his fault, it's the opponent on plans for that's offside. Um, maybe not. He, uh, yeah, he was through and then he just got wiped the hell out which is so annoying but here he is again on the ball. It was actually a decent pass, but I don't know what Moriantes was doing. He just ran completely past the ball. Uh, I'm not really going to put that one on Kent, to be honest. I think that that was uh, that was on Moriantes. I don't know what he was doing there. Going to be honest. Good ball, does well. Oh, and then puts the ball out there. He was doing well. Is he going to take this corner? Here we go. Finally. Oh, what on earth was that all about? Right, Tavernier on the ball. 
a good oh, no what's going on what a terrible pass that is and he had to have passed that one that was a bit of a poor decision from him right where's Kenta is that in ah oh, sugar I couldn't quite get it over there Kent was in a decent enough position, but just not good enough, now, unfortunately, for me to be here. able to uh, to get the ball up to him. Messi done good at Barley and Odegaard. We need to get this out. So Kent on down here. He's uh, he's oh god, he's come quite deep there uh, by the looks of things. He seems to be doing that a little bit. That's Odegaard. Kent's in the middle there by the looks of things. There he is on the ball. Decent Martin enough pass, make a run boy, and we've got the ball back well, to him. Can he get the ball? The oh yes, oh, that dribbling man, I love it. Oh my goodness, he... what a goal. What a goal that is. Just turns and beats two of them very, very easily, and then puts the ball in the back of the net. Absolutely fantastic, exactly what you're wanting from the winger. I'm so happy with that sort of goal. That's exactly what you'd be expecting from Kent, so yeah, fantastic. So I'm going to leave that there. Gonna play some more games with him. Let's get back into the in-game stats now and compare them to how he felt uh, in, the, in the few games that I played with him. All right, so I played a few more games with Ryan Kent. Let's go through it stat by stat, and then I'll give my overall final verdict at the end. Uh, so 96 pace, a ridiculously high pace stat, which I am not going to change because his pace felt absolutely ridiculous. Um, definitely the fastest player that I've used on FIFA 23 so far. Absolutely mental. Um, shooting at 80 as well can definitely be increased. Scored a handful of goals in just a couple of games for me. Um, I'm going to have to bring his shooting up to about an 84, 85. His finishing was a lot better than the 78 that it suggested and having that five star week for definitely meant that he was a fantastic player to play with 80 passing not too bad um, I probably would leave it at about an 80 and um, some dodgy passes where it just felt like he was playing it a little bit too far out of the position for the striker so I'm gonna just leave that at an 80 83 dribbling does not do this guy justice his dribbling was ridiculous and it's because of that good agility and balance it made it feel so much better than what it probably actually is but I'm gonna bring his dribbling up to a big old 87 um, can't go any lower than that one of the best dribblers that I've used on FIFA 23 so far defending at 48 again um, he's an attacking player I'm not going to touch the defending I didn't notice anything as far as heading accuracy goes so we'll just leave that at 48 um, but the physical at 69 I don't know how it can be so low his strength felt absolutely fantastic um, 56 strength I can't quite believe what I'm seeing there uh, definitely was not 56 so uh, I'm going for, for strength at about Let's go, well, physical in general. We'll bring it up to a 75, 70. Well, to be honest, I think we can even go higher than that. I'll bring it up to a 78. It should have felt a lot, lot better than 56. There's no way that it can be 56. So is he worth doing? Is he worth keeping in your team? Oh, a million percent. For the value for the um, player that you're getting here, an 82 rated squad with a team of the week player, you need to do this Kent card. And you get Tavernier at the end of it as well if you do both of these squad builder challenges. So there is a review for Tavernier on the channel. Check that one out. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And there is a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always guys, thank you for watching.